ants. They can tunnel underground to make their nests. But why dig holes when you can live in a plant that feeds you? Let's learn about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now so many plants and animals. <laughs> Today, we are on the trails of Central Catchment Reserve to find the common mahang, a HDV paradise for ants. Also known as Macaranga bancana, this plant is distributed all around Southeast Asia and is a common site in secondary forests, which most of our forested areas in Singapore are. Although there are over 300 species in the Macaranga genus, the common mahang is very recognisable and that is because their leaves look like the Fire Nation symbol. More specifically, you can identify this species by the many black or dark brown rings along its stem. And these are what is known as stipules. So stipules are outgrowths that serve different functions for different species of plants if not vestigial. Some help to make energy, some serve as protection for the plant, and for the case of the common mahang, they serve as food sources for ants. Specifically, the hard gaster ends of the chromatogaster genus. Apart from the distinctive heart-shaped gasters, which is actually just a fancy way of saying abdomen, many ends in this genus have a symbiosis with the macaranga plants. Because of the hollow stems of the macaranga, these ends are able to inhabit the insides of the plant, instead of digging tunnels like what we commonly learn about ant nests in school. But apart from just being an ant shelter, the common mahang produces food bodies in the form of starchy white globules on the insides of the stipules that feed these ants. But you think the plants so nice give you free things, is it? In exchange for food and lodging, these hard gaster ants are able to come out of the plant through small entry and exit holes, and they patrol around the surface to protect the common mahang. Aside from chewing off foreign plants such as overgrowing climbers that come into contact with their home, the ants protect the common mahang from herbivores, fungi and other insects that try to eat or damage their plant. Despite their tiny size, these hard gaster ants are actually quite fighters. Man. As seen through their defensive behaviour, these ants are able to raise their gasters up and over their heads. This allows them to point their abdominal tips to almost any direction and squirt out formic acid venom when agitated. This creates a symbiotic relationship between the two called mutualism, where both species in the relationship benefit from their association with each other. This is compared with the other not-so-happy symbiosis such as parasitism and predation. Not only is this plant and association essential for the common mahang's survival, it is also a perfect example of how intricate forest dynamics can be even in our small concrete country called Singapore. And that is all we have for today's episode. Stay connected with me through my social links where you can send or tag me in any of your photos or videos of our Singapore wildlife. Don't forget to give that subscribe button a clicky if you want to watch more videos of our Singapore ecology. And remember, Keep your eyes peeled because it's a jungle out there.